For this workshop, we are highlighting the data that we have collected from the four countries, which is Kivet, Senegal, Gambia, and Ghana, on a varied range of issues, including the important crops in the various communities, including the agroecological strategies that are indigenous to the various communities, as well as what the farmers require to make an improvement in food and nutritional security. Agroecology is based largely on indigenous knowledge. Indigenous knowledge in agriculture, we believe, is a knowledge that has been learned from experience. Experience is very important, especially in an area like agriculture. So when you base your development on indigenous knowledge, on experience, the likelihood that you get it right. And that has been the case in many, many places. So we said, well, why don't we eventually go the same direction. Now, experience has come out of what they've been doing for quite a long time. And most of the solutions farmers normally have, we normally say they are nature-based. You look at nature and say, well, how did nature do it? Can I go back towards nature? Because nature is always correct or has always been correct. And that's basically what we are trying to do. My expectation for this workshop is to get from the data specific requirements regarding uh, biodiversity, regarding the diversity of uh, the, the practice, diversity index, and about the extent of uh, tree-based uh, activities within the baseline data. And then uh, what is the two main points, the diversity in general and then diversity of tree base, the extent of tree base activities within the area where the data collections was done. Wakwisa is a World Bank Center of Excellence established in 2019 with a vision of uh, being a leading class of uh, academic and uh, research sector specialized in irrigation, water resources, sustainable agriculture, climate change, and food and nutrition security. And being a semi-autonomous center at the University for Development Studies. Yeah, so we do partner with um, a number of uh, organizations and institutions, such as the Sirawa Project, and per the objectives of the Sierra project, it's forced actually in line with the activities at the center. Um, because um, we are looking at how sustainable agriculture will be. And so we believe that um, this, our relationship with our funding agencies um, will go beyond the borders of Ghana. Um, and we know that the Sierra is actually being implemented among um, other African countries. And so we are really proud to be associated with the project um, we, we hope to get a more um, um, sustainable activities, not only for academic, but also for industries to also practice some of the organic activities that the project seeks to bring on board. Mm -hmm.